And we're back, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a half pie chart in Adobe Illustrator. So I've got some random values here for the social media companies, and you can see if you add them up, they add up to 100%. So let me just type that in total, 100%. And we want to display that as a half pie chart. So we need a rectangle first. Under view, I've got the smart guides and snap to point only activated. Select the rectangle and make it a width of 100 under properties. You will find that under the window. So this is going to be 100% for us. The height doesn't really matter. If you make it bigger, the half pie chart will look or will appear bigger later on. But it doesn't matter when it comes to the values. We don't need a specific value here. Let me make that gray and then I hold Alt and drag a copy out of it. And I need four more copies. So one more copy for each parameter that I've got. So the social media companies here. I can simply press Ctrl D to create more copies. All right, Twitter has 12% and I need to cut that in half because we've got a half pie chart. So I only need six pixels, which is simply 12 divided by two. Let me type that in. And for the next one, so for Instagram, we've got 33%. And if we cut that in half, it's simply 16.5 and so forth. Select the next rectangle, as I've said, 16.5. The one for Facebook is 12.5. And the one for YouTube and TikTok are going to be 7.5. And you can see I go one step further with the fill color on the default swatches for each. So that's our starting point. And now we drag these one by one into the gray rectangle. And we've got the smart guys and snap to point to make them snap to each other. And so that we can find the perfect positions here. So once they're stacked, they add up to 50%. So the entire grayish rectangle is 100%. Let me copy that and make it 50. I need to put it on top, so right click, arrange, bring to top. You don't have to do this, this is just to exemplify that it's 50%. You can see all of these values add up to 50. So that's what we want to have. Select this one, then open your brush menu. You will find that under window as well. And then drag this brush right into the field. Select art brush, okay. And you can just keep the defaults. It's going to be called Artbrush1. I press OK. Now I'll create a circle with the ellipse tool. Just hold Control. Swap the color so that you have a stroke and a fill. And then click on your Artbrush1. So we've got the half pie chart exactly at 50% and the rest is gray. And now we just select the gray rectangle, give it a no fill. Select it once again. Drag it into the brush menu. We'll make it an art brush, art brush two. Press OK. Select your circle and then click on the art brush two. You can now rotate it, holding Shift, and you've got your half pie chart. If you want to further adjust it, you can simply. Select it and then go to object and expand the appearance. Then it will be treated as regular objects. I'm just going to put these names up there. You can use, for example, the line segment tool and add these segments if you want to.
and it's the process of how we can create this RPI chart in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.